Wait. Two hundred six, two hundred thirty-six days in. Hey, Shell. Your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? Makes him pretty tough, huh? She's already changing. She dismisses things she cares about so easily. I guess you kind of have to when you've already lost so much, but I still worry. Becca's a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Hey, thanks. Becca, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? That would be nice. That sounds like a great idea. Maybe we can all get in on it, like some kind of weekly talent show. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. <laughs> in that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Nice. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. <sighs> she seems pretty responsible. Cool. Actually, I wanted to make sure our blades were in good condition first. No rush on the flashlights. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. All right. Eesh, these knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry, they're on our list. That looks like the axe we had in, uh... Bloodstain. Did you ever find out what happened there? No. Roman said it was like this when he and Stephanie found the place. Could be anything these days, though. Still, better not to think about it. How we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. That's good. What? Nothing. What did Roman want? I don't know yet. Are you gonna find out? Yeah, in a sec. I just gotta check everything. Oh, still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. Huh. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. No problem. The diner looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. Also, not as many dead visitors back then. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I guess we're not going that way. Empty wall. Oh, you don't have to walk back over there, it's fine. I don't care. Coffee God, machine. what I wouldn't give for a cup of coffee in the morning. Uh. This hasn't worked in a long time. I haven't had any coffee today. Hmm, maybe I'll get some with dinner. <laughs> Smells good. A sink. Glad we thought to bottle our water before it ran out. Yeah. Employees only. I guess we're all employees now. I don't miss going on raids for this stuff. Ooh, starting to thin out in here. Thank God we have a garden now. Yeah. Oh! Oh, you scared me! He's hungry. I guess he knows it's feeding time. Oh boy. I 
feel bad for it. Yeah, well, at least we found a way for him to be useful. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. This is far from an easy life, Roman. You know what I mean. She needs to know the sacrifices we have to make to survive in this world. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. So is this the place where... Is this the um, place where we... In the season one, where we were? Because if it is, why did we not find the garden? That would have been useful. Oh god. Chill out, man. I'm not gonna steal your food. Oh, I could have talked to it? <laughs> That's what that option was. Oh, god. So what are they doing out here anyway? Oh god. <laughs> oh Jesus, don't ever fucking do that again. Whoa, what's your problem? I do this all the time. You don't get all pissed off. <sighs> you just... You can't go jumping out at people. Not anymore. It's not safe. But... What if I had a weapon? I could have thought you were a walker. What are you talking about? I... <sighs> Look, I... I just saw our walkers out back eating a, a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know, it was... It was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but after a while, you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right? But then, you know, there it is. You see it, and you want to protect it, and... And now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca. Shell! Becca! Something's going on outside! What is it? I don't know. Something bad. We gotta find Roman. Oh boy. Uh, Roman was out- he said he was going out front. Come here! Everyone! Shit! Come on, we gotta find Roman. Let's mop them. If so, can we be Jesus. Largum. La My God. La Largum. What did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? Why the no, blindfold? They didn't get that close. Did he hurt anyone? No, thank God. Who is he? I don't know. And I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck in. The second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time, we couldn't catch him. And they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some. We'll send him on his what way. What if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. Girl That's right. Familiar. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. I mean, nobody travels alone by choice anymore, right? <sighs> well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Vernon oh. and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. Vernon was out for the boat oh. the whole time. Yeah. The second they left that boat unattended, we guys. just stole it. 
That's when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. Jesus Christ! Are you serious? Roman's right. It's gotta be one or the other. We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, Shell. What's it gonna be? Come on, we can't just kill him, but... We have to set him free. We can't. He's not even armed. We can't just kill him. This isn't in self-defense. Isn't it, though? If it means he can't come back to hurt us? That isn't the same thing. But last time... Joyce, that was a long time ago. If we kill this man, then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can never get back. Uh, I'm not ready to let enough. that go. Cut him free. I hope you guys know what you're doing. Oh, what do you give got? him some food, when, three or four cans, just as a gesture of good faith. And get him out of here. I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying, but you better understand this. You came this close to death today. And if you ever, ever come near this place again, or tell anybody where we are, you wish you had died today. Yep. Two hundred fifty nine days in. Do you have any fours? Nope. Do you have any sevens? What are we playing? Uh, yep. Yeah. I miss playing guitar for everyone. I mean, it was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I shouldn't have let that guy go. Boyd would still be alive and everything would be the same. Boyd agreed it was the right thing to do. Anyway, Roman's obsessed with keeping this place secured now. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time, Roman isn't taking any chances. Then I should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca! Are you sneaking out again? The antique of things didn't go so well. Did anyone see you leave? No, no one saw me. You've got to stop doing that. You're going to get us both in a lot of trouble. I don't see why it's such a big deal. We had another break-in just last month. Uh, Becca, you know what it means if someone were to see you and follow you back here. No one is following me. There's no one else out there. Shell, I need to talk What's to you. What's she doing out there? It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you, uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. All right. Give us a minute. Yeah. Just don't take too long. What was that all about? <sighs> I don't know. Probably not good, though. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. Oh, boy. Oh. Is this How where they're no one's there? watering these? I guess. Uh, I guess 
we can talk for a moment. Joyce, do you know what's going on? I don't know if I should say anything. Please, what is it? They caught Stephanie stealing, and then trying to escape. Oh my god. What are they gonna do? I don't know. What can we do? I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. Just let him go. Seems like the group is already pretty messed up anyway. It's not like it matters if anyone leaves. What good is it staying here? Is this really necessary? Roman? Good, you're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Well, so what, Roman? Ever since the incident, this hasn't been an easy place to live in. If she doesn't want to stay, let her take her chances out there. Well, A, she had most of our seeds, medicine, and ammo with her. And B, you know we can't let anyone leave who knows where we are. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? Yeah. You want me to take care of it. You and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance. But we did. And it was wrong. And now Boyd is dead. We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now. And I need to know that you're with us a hundred percent. You can't survive if you don't take any chances. But she's one of us. Th this is different. No, she's not. Not anymore. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Becca seems like a tough kid. She... <sighs> Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of supplies and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? Come on, don't be so hostile. Because this place isn't safe anymore. After those guys attacked us, even after we let their friend go, this place just hasn't been the same. Of course not. Roman's trying to make it better. Better? No one is happy anymore. We live like prisoners. But it's safe here. I mean, yeah, it's I want to get away every now and then, but I would never leave. That's crazy. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there, in the drawer. Are you okay? Do you want to talk about it? No, I don't. Just want to get it over with. I'm not gonna kill her. She didn't. You know, do... we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? Anything wrong? We've She's survived on our survive. own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, Roman will hunt us down. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. 
If everyone leaves, he's not gonna hunt us all down. I don't want this to be who we are. Just let me do it then. No. No, I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. Shell, it's time. I'm not gonna kill her. She's just trying to survive like the rest of us. This is clearly not. What are you doing? Shell? Safe place. Shell, what the hell? Sit down, get safe. Shell, hey! Shell! You'll be safe out of the No, he won't! What the fuck? God damn it! Well. That was Shell's story. Shell and Beckins, I guess. On the road, out of the city. Gonna leave my past behind.